Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like a regular thing for you guys. Yeah, we actually go out there probably oh, twice every wow. stage. Oh, yeah. Hey, how do you write? Is this the solo album? Yeah. 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 Uh, so my brother made me throw it at the Yeah. 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 Yeah.
August 15, 2016, City Council meeting to order. Please call the roll. Alderman Santi? 
Here. Alderman Glass. Here. Alderman Schaefer. Here. Alderman Curry. Here. Alderman Wimmer. Here. Alderman Peterson. Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The City of McHenry's mission statement is as follows. The City of McHenry is dedicated to providing its citizens, businesses, and visitors with the highest quality of programs and services in a customer-oriented, efficient, and fiscally responsible manner. First item on our agenda is a proclamation declaring September 2016 as Bring Your Own Bag Month in the City of McHenry. So I'd like to read that now and present it. Whereas plastic bags derived from oil and natural gas use up resources unnecessarily and have significant impacts on the environment, and whereas reducing the use of plastic bags helps to eliminate pollution, free storm drains from blockage, reduce landfill waste, and protects wildlife, and whereas BYO Bag is a regional endeavor to help promote educating the public on the benefits of bringing their own bags while shopping, and whereas the City of McHenry is proud to partner with the BYO Bag Committee of the Environmental Defenders of McHenry County to make the city more environmentally conscious, and whereas the city encourages businesses to support the BYO bag efforts by rewarding customers for bringing their own bags, posting signs, and selling reusable bags, and also asks residents to support the movement by de declining plastic bags in favor of bringing their own bags. And whereas it is the hope that the efforts of BYO Bag Month will encourage lifelong changes in habit. Now therefore be it proclaimed, I, Susan E. Lau, Mayor of the City of McHenry, do hereby proclaim the month of September as Bring Your Own Bag Month in the City of McHenry and urge all citizens, businesses to participate by bringing their own reusable bags instead of using paper or plastic bags from stores. And I'd like to present that to you. Thank you. And 
Um, you know, these signs can go up in your store, so I'm not sure who would like to help me get those put up in your stores. You can give them to us and we'll, we'll okay, make sure. Okay, that's that. great. And I would love to connect and, um, and then I'll send an email and figure out who I need to meet with to get other material. And um, my, my committee has done a lot of legwork and I'm happy to continue to do that for your town too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you so Very much. Nice. Thank, Thank you. Who would <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. It's Thanks for being here. Thank you. And you're welcome to stay, but you're, we're not offended if you leave. I'll be leaving soon. School starts tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> the next item on the agenda is the public input portion of the meeting. No one has signed in for that purpose this evening. Is there anyone here for that purpose? I don't think so. See, no one. Move on to the next agenda item, which is uh, the consent agenda. Looking for a motion to approve. Alderman Lumer? Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there a second? Alderman Schaefer? Second. Discussion, Alderman Lumer? No. Alderman no Peterson? Questions. Alderman Santee? I have no questions. Alderman Glad? Nothing. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? Just uh, one question on the, uh, the disposal of the electronic uh, property. Yes. Quite a, quite a bit of material. It's all actually not working. Is it's, that yeah, it's non function. The last time we did this was in 2014, and we built up yeah. a Pretty significant amount. I, once again, I'm just surprised at the list of the, the size of this. We use whatever we can, reuse whatever we can, take parts, and, and what we wind up with is as a pile that <laughs> takes up racks of space. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion on this consent agenda? Please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. The next item is a motion to approve a request for a Class A liquor license from Papa <coughs> J LLC, doing business as Lacey's Place, located at 341 Front Street, and an ordinance increasing the number of Class A1 licenses in effect from 2 to 3. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Papa J LLC doing business as Lacey's Place has submitted an application for a Class A1 liquor license in conjunction, in conjunction excuse me, with the Video Gaming Cafe and the Fountain Shops Retail Center located at 341 Front Street. Uh, this was the former site, as council may recall, of uh, Lucky Louise's, uh, so uh, a license has been granted at that location before and the location is currently vacant. Uh, the Class A1 liquor license permits the retail sale of, sale of beer and wine for consumption on premises and retail sale of packaged beer and wine. Papa J LLC purchased a Lacey's Place franchise. That's why uh, the, the name is similar to another establishment we have in town. The council will recall that a Class A1 uh, license, as I mentioned, was approved uh, in May for Lacey's Place, located on Diamond, uh, the other Lacey's Place, located on that Diamond Drive, which is owned by a different limited liability company. And uh, the representatives of Papa J LLC are with us tonight also. Thank you. I would just add to that that I have met with the, uh, the um, potential uh, owners and managers um, quite, length, quite at length, and um, they have a very interesting concept with what they're trying to do. Um, they've created a, a concept called Sushi Express. Um, so they really are focusing on, on the business lunch crowd a little different than what we've heard from before. And they are here this evening if you have any questions. Um, so I'm looking for a motion on this item. Um, Ms. Ante? I will make a motion to approve the class uh, A1 liquor license for Papa J. Uh, Lacey's place located at 341 Front Street and the ordinance of the <coughs> Municipal Code Chapter 4 increasing, increasing the class of <coughs> liquor licenses from 2 to 3 as presented. Thank you. Is there a second? Alderman Wimmer? Second. Discussion, Alderman Santee? No, upon review, I, I because of looking at the menu and seeing that, you know, it is going to be um, um, a formidable place in regards to lunches and, and Dining, um, you know, I look at this as a as a um, a destination restaurant that um, we don't have this we have too many style of this types of restaurant here in town, and I look forward to them becoming a, a new business in town. Thank you, Alderman oh, Glad. Yeah, I'll just reiterate what uh, Alderman Santi said to some extent. I kind of agree with what Julie said. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you, Alderman Schaefer. 
Um, I had no questions. Alderman Curry? Um, you know, I, I, I looked at this, and, and uh, I guess my question always with these is, is it, is, it a, is it a restaurant or is it a gaming establishment? You know, is it primarily a restaurant? Um, and, and I guess I'd just like to, to ask the gentleman present to, to, if you could step could you up and just give us a little more background about yeah. your restaurant. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bill Chen. And for this brand new concept, Sushi Spread, it's a brand new concept. Um, the sushi is like pre-made uh, daily every day for people like normally when you have a, try to have a sushi, you have to sit down and it's gonna take more than an hour. So in lunchtime, normally people don't have time to, for sushi. So I made this like sushi express, like I'm gonna pre-made, pre-packaged sushi like daily in the morning. So in lunchtime, people can just come in and get a sushi and enjoy the sushi at lunchtime. <coughs> um, it mentions in here that there's two, you operate two other restaurants, is it? Yes. And, and are they any similar to this at all? Or oh. is this a new concept? No, this is a brand new concept. And what are those restaurants? What, what type of, is there a sit down type of a? Yes, in, in Carol Stream, I got a carry out restaurant. Okay. And then I got a Aurora, I got a, a Stein and restaurant. Mm -hmm. All right, thank, thank you for responding. Alderman Wimmer? No question. Alderman um, Peterson? I don't think I have any questions. I'm interested that they want to have a successful restaurant. And, and that came across very loud and clear when I met with both of them. It was, a, it was very uh, an interesting conversation. And they really do not care to be called a gaming cafe. They don't view themselves as that. Um, their focus is on their food. We did check with the other communities that have their restaurants and they have very high reviews from, from the locations where they have other places. So it's a little different, I think. Alan Santi? Hours, I, I, I'm, if I, I'm sorry if I missed it, but what are your hours gonna be? It's um, all depend on the liquor license hours. They'll follow the same like same. hours. Just follow liquor license. Any other questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. We look forward to having you in the cabinet. Good luck. The next item, <coughs> excuse me, the next item on the agenda is a motion to approve a sign variance to allow four additional wall signs requested by Sunnyside Dodge at 4810 West Elm Street. Doug, or Ross? Ross. Thank, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> uh, the Community Development Department received a sign variance request to allow a Sunnyside Dodge a total of six wall signs on the face of their building. Thank you. Looking for a motion, Alderman Curry? No, I'll make the motion that a sign variance be granted to Sunnyside Dodge, 4810 West Elm Street, to allow four additional wall signs for a total of six signs as, as de depicted in the information. Thank you. Is there a second, Alderman <coughs> Santee? I will second the motion. Discussion, Alderman Curry? I have nothing. Alderman Warren? No questions. Alderman Peterson? Nothing. Alderman Santee? I have no questions. Alderman Glad? I just <coughs> want to state the fact that uh, these signs aren't any, anything different than most of the other uh, auto dealers have. Uh, totally appropriate. And, uh, uh, I'm kind of excited to see uh, that building <coughs> expanding, almost completed, and uh, it's really going to look nice. And it's a nice complement for the west side of one point. It is beautiful. I agree. Thank you. <coughs> Alderman Schaefer? I agree. No questions. Any further discussion on this <coughs> item? Seeing none, please call the roll. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Motion carried. Before I move to the next item, I just want to make sure that you all know that your item was approved during the consent agenda. 
Um, it was on the consent agenda, um, especially that liquor license for by the McHenry Area Chamber for down to McHenry downtown uncorked. We look forward to that event, so it, it's a go. So I just, you're welcome to stay, but I just wanted you to know that you, we already did you. <laughs> the next item on the agenda is a motion to approve an amendment to an existing sign variance granted in 2003 for the Northgate Retail Center located at 2610 to 2640 Shade Court. Cross. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, council is being asked to consider an amendment to a signed variance that was approved in 2003 for the Northgate Shopping Center located at 2610-2640 Shade Court. Thank you. Looking for a motion on this side. Alvin Schaefer? Make the motion to approve the signed variance as presented. Thank you. Is there a second? Alvin Curry? Second. Discussion, Alvin Schaefer? No questions. Alvin Curry? Uh, I, have, I have no questions. Alvin Wimmer? The one color seemed Alderman Peterson? No question. Alderman Zanti? I have no questions. Alderman Glad? Uh, I don't have a problem with the color. I'm glad to see that we've got specifics as far as uh, the sizes. And as long as it's uniform, I think it'll fit real well. If we did that for the uh, shopping center off of Lillian, then it worked out real well, too. So. Thank you. Any further discussion on this side? Seeing none, please call the roll. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Lab? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Santi? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. <clears throat> the next item is a motion authorizing the mayor's execution of the contract for renovation and expansion of the McHenry Dispatch Center and renovation of police administration section with Stuckey Construction Company Incorporated in the amount of $1,297,101. Thank you. On July 5th, 2016, City Council approved the submission of pre-qualification bids for the renovation of the dispatch center and police administrative section of the City Hall. Four companies met the pre-qualification criteria and submitted bids on August 2nd, 2016 at City Hall. Of those four companies, Stuckey met all requirements and were the lowest bid with a base bid of $1,262,801. Bid alternatives, alternates were selected for the additional $16,300 for a total construction cost of $1,297,101. Council is being asked to consider staff's request to award the contract to Stuckey Construction for the renovation of the dispatch center in the police administrative section for City Hall for a total construction cost of $1,297,101. Thank you. Looking for a motion on the side, Mr. McCurry. I'll make the motion that uh, we approve the recommendation of FGM Architects and award contract for renovation expansion of the McHenry Dispatch Center, along with renovation of the McHenry Police Department and admin section for a total construction cost of one million two hundred ninety-seven thousand one hundred one dollars. Thank you. Is there a second? Alderman <coughs> Schaefer. Second. Uh, discussion, Alderman Curry. Uh, no real questions. It's great to see it uh, moving along, and, I, and uh, <coughs> comment that you know looks like uh, you know, compared to some of the other bids, uh, we have little cost savings if you compare it to the other ones. So you know, that, that's good to see too. That, and they met all the requirements, so we're not cutting any corners and all that. So that's good. It's good to see it go forward. Thank you, Alderman Wimmer. Good luck working through it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're pros now. You wouldn't believe how much has been done already. Alderman <laughs> Peterson? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting, what, next four, five, six months. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Alderman uh, No, look forward to just continuing this process and get this all completed real soon. And hopefully, it has to be uh, at two, uh, uh, a high comfort level Maybe at some point. <laughs> Alderman Glad? You just look at the dollar amount that we're spending on this, and uh, it's not a shocker because we knew this was coming down the pipe, and we've had a lot of discussions on this. Yeah, so this is just part of the process. Thank you, sir. Alderman Schaefer? This is the same company we've used before, correct? And yeah, the results with? Yep, yeah, the same yeah. company that actually was awarded the bid for the recreation center, as well as the admin. Uh, and as a side note, the same. Construction superintendents that work at the recreation center uh, looks like will be awarded or be awarded this job as well. So the continuity only will serve us, I think, uh, extremely well and we'll do the construction.
construction process. I agree. Thank you. Any further questions or discussion? Please call the roll. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. <clears throat> the next item is the Mayor's Statement and Reports. And um, this evening I'm looking for a motion to approve the appointment of Jeff Barda to the McHenry Landmark Commission. Jeff is well known in McHenry. Um, Pat Wirtz, who's the chairman of the Landmark Commission, uh, has supported this appointment and would like to see Jeff serve on the commission. Um, so I'm looking for a motion to make that appointment. On the make that is there a second? On the glad? I'll make <coughs> uh, discussion on the woman. Should be a good addition. Thank you. Alderman Peters? I have no uh, problem. No questions. Alderman Santi? I have no Alderman questions. Alderman Glab? Nothing. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? No questions. Please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Santi? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Motion carry. The only thing I have, other thing I have is, um, I hope you saw the front page of the Herald today. It was so finally something about McHenry. Um, our combined veterans organizations did a wonderful job yesterday with the Keep the Spirit of 45 Alive ceremony. It was absolutely beautiful, and, and I think there was yesterday 26 World War II veterans there. Um, down a little bit from last year, but it was really, was, it's been such a hot week. Um, but it was just a, a really beautiful ceremony, so I thank them for, for their efforts. Um, that's all I have this evening. Are there any committee reports? Seeing none, are there any staff reports this evening? No events? No, I think things are <laughs> quiet down a little bit. <laughs> what? <coughs> the only thing I'd mention is this Thursday night, the band concert is sponsored by our McHenry Downtown Business Association, and it is New Odyssey which is always a huge draw and a, a great evening of entertainment. So, um, and the concerts will go this year through September, thanks to the um, uh, Farmer's Market. They're sponsoring um, four concerts in September. So these, uh, a little extension to that program this summer, which is really nice. Any future agenda items this evening? See none, looking for a motion to adjourn. Alderman Wimmer? Motion to adjourn. Signed by Alderman Curry. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Santi? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you.